Alex, welcome back to the channel. And today we're drinking to Thanksgiving. So this is my sister Dina, and I am at home with my parents for, for a few days to celebrate our version of Thanksgiving this year, and so I thought it'd be cool if she could hang out with us and make this drink that Melinda's going to tell us about. Yes, so it is the holiday season, um, so we all have, you know, in our family gatherings, and I know not all families can get together this year, so that's why you're going to have the Drunk Uncle Cocktail for those zoom dinners where you can't be together we have to dress up for these zoom dinners <laughs> we do have to dress up for these zoom dinners you're right you're up <laughs> <laughs> and you know to celebrate we're on zoom like you know you do Please. all right so here we go the uh i'm gonna read a little bit of history about it because it's just fun um, this is on a blog, hotforfoodblog.com. Uh, it says, I was testing our Christmas cocktails and knew whichever one I posted would be called the Drunk Uncle. Inspired by a drunk uncle from SNL, uh, because that's exactly who I felt like when the recipe development was all said and done. Uh, <laughs> it is a, um, a gin-based cocktail with apple cider, a little bit of lime, and some cinnamon. We ready to begin? That's not a little bit of <laughs> just dump the whole thing. <laughs> you just need a, a pinch. Well, he tried to give me the one that had the cinnamon sugar mix, and I was like, I don't need no, any no. <laughs> you do not need any more sugar. And so <laughs> so the recipe calls for two ounces of gin and I'm following you. Go ahead. We're not big on gin in our house, so I bought the tiny bottles. The tanqueray? Yeah, I've got some tanqueray here. Uh, so I'm going to dump two. Oh, I've got three ice cubes in my shaker. And let so, her tell you the truth. We robbed the gin from our parents. Yeah, so it's purple. It's slow gin. So Angel's is going to be a little sweeter. No, it's spelled with an E, not a W. It's supposed to get you drunk slower. They are they are made from slow berries, actually. Uh -huh. It's supposed to help you get drunk slower. All I know is when That's I... That's not true, Dina. Don't tell people that. Frank, leave my lungs. <laughs> It's 20%. That's a lot. Yeah. So slow gin is come, it's uh it's made with it's a gin base and they take sugar and what's called slow berries and they like do a mash. All right. Yeah. Pause before you make him try it. I am gonna make him try it. He always comes on and tries the drinks usually. Ready? Yeah, do you have your cup of ice? I got my cup of ice. Ice. I don't have a shaker, so I got a tallspoon. That's I got a shaker. I'm pretty sure these bottles are one ounce, right? There I go. Do y'all have a contest to see which one of you get drunk first? No. Is this an ounce? I mean, I don't know. <laughs> Sorry, Michelle. Testing is to eliminate tonight. One. Mommy's in the other room. And Michelle, hi. Mommy hi. <laughs> and Dina, we don't want to get Dina in trouble at work. Yeah, I don't want to get trouble and at work. And by we, I mean me. How many yeah. juice? All right, so two ounces of gin, and then we need three ounces. The recipe. It's a half an ounce, right? It's like three. It's three. <laughs> Dina's trying to make me sick. No, it is. Paybacks from turning me off on Mountain Dew. Look, that's Mike's fault. Um, it is three ounces. The recipe calls for unsweetened mold apple cider, but that is not, that's not my jam. It didn't sound like you said mold. 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 <laughs> it did sound like you said mold. Like, who wants mold and apple cider? She has a thing for sniffing everything. Wait, she yeah. does. She smells everything. It's dangerous sometimes. It's, I'm just I'm just gonna eyeball it in my shaker here. It has a smell. Shaker. Okay. All right. So this is the one I tried to get Ollie to lick and he said no. <laughs> Aw. All right. Hey. Because he shrunk <laughs> down below the table. <laughs> he left That's funny. all alone. He did. Aria, Aria will eat it. She'll shove the whole thing in her mouth. All right, so I'm just squeezing this in here? Yep, yeah, so it calls for, then we have 
just a squeeze of juice from half a lime. So yeah, squeeze the whole thing, probably, yeah. Um, I've got my fresh squeezed lime juice right here. Oh, like it's so fresh, it still needs to be cut open. <laughs> let, me get, let me slice that open real quick. Really more committed, I went to the grocery store. Actually, I went to the grocery store because I didn't have any of the stuff that we needed. I mean, I went. To, I bought this from the grocery store last week. That counts. <laughs> there is. That's true. Oh, and Dina's gonna have a, a Martinelli's sparkling cider. Ooh. Yeah, I can't drink. She can't drink, but she's gonna have that, which is just the same thing, just no alcohol, basically. Basically. All right, I got my squeeze of juice. Thank you. Okay. Then a pinch of this stuff. <laughs> I like yeah. a pinch of that. I'm gonna. We don't need to get a spoon. I'm gonna shake it. I'm just gonna do because I've got the holes in mine too. I'm just gonna do like a one. Oh God, that was a lot. All right, you want to see how much I got in mine? And I mean, she did Marshall. Go. I just did it. <laughs> Newsflash: Dina is a butthead. <laughs> And, yeah, you said we're saying this. So. All right, and then you just shake it, mix it. Yep, so you stir, I'm going to shake. Ready? Smile. Baby, just smile big. <laughs> She's in on it. We can make the most noise. Sorry. It's probably actually going to... Just send me. <laughs> it's probably actually going to cancel out. So it's going to be like this weird, like, the, ooh, ah, ooh, ah. So we got fancy cups. Yeah, look. Oh, we have fancy cups like that. So here's your holiday thing. We used to love to drink out of these. And yeah. every time we got busted with one of these, we got in a lot of trouble because they weren't <laughs> supposed to go in the dishwasher. <laughs> Even though, guess what, everybody, they are dishwasher safe. <laughs> so are they glass and not crystal? Oh, they're crystal. They're crystal. So and they can go through the dishwasher? Did okay. you already open your thing? Oh, okay. Sorry. Yes. I got a mason glass. Are we pouring? That's just so. Oh, you're your red solo cup. You little bail. Tristan's hollering for a red solo cup. How do you know what a red solo cup is? It's red. It's red. Yeah, but he also told me that he, he was telling me earlier about Jaeger, and I was like, how do you know what Jaeger is? <laughs> And I didn't want to buy cinnamon sticks just for one thing. So I'm just going to add a piece of lime as my garnish. The red actually makes it very festive. I'm sure it does. The red from the, what is oh, it called? it's pretty slow, slow gin. gin. Get your drunk slower. All right, well, I didn't buy cinnamon sticks. Yours looks like a margarita. Kind of. Here, let me put it up closer, though. Do you see all the cinnamon floating in it? Yeah. Oh, hold on. It's floating in mine, too. She lit your fingers and put it in the cinnamon. I did not. She did? saw it. <laughs> my mom won't use the cinnamon anymore. <laughs> she's <laughs> going to throw it in the trash. Oh, I my. Hear that? She's telling a lie. Okay. That's funny. All right. So, yes, you can garnish it with a cinnamon stick is what it calls for. Cheers, Melinda. Cheers. Cheers. I'm going to kill you. I don't want to taste it. I'm sorry. For anybody who's ever had this, it's basically... Apple juice with Sprite. <laughs> Mine tastes like cinnamon, uh, cinnamon applesauce. I don't know what mine tastes like. I don't know what slow gin tastes like. Me neither. I didn't Regular know. gin's a little, like, I think it's like a little smooth but spicy from the juniper berries. What? That's even more dangerous. People who think they're drinking juice will just drink and drink and drink and drink. They're going to need the designated yeah. Dave bus. Oliver took it. <laughs> yep. Is it good? I don't know. Okay. Is it sweet? I don't know. It's, I don't know what it, it, it doesn't, I don't know. All right. I don't know. Okay. I mean, I think all I can taste, honestly, is the cider. Okay, well, let's add that's, some more. No, 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 that's okay. That's okay. Because that's what it's supposed to taste like. It's supposed to taste like, um, that's primarily the cider. The cider. Oh, okay. And then you've got the alcohol behind it, which is definitely what this tastes like. By the way, I did not use cider because it's not my jam at all. So I use some organic apple juice. We don't ever make anything by the recipe. 
Have you noticed that? Every time we make a drink, we change it almost every time. We it's, made the Mai Tais by the recipe. We go, but we, there's suggestions. There are suggestions. They're more like guidelines there than actual go. rules. <laughs> That's right. And mine is unsweetened, so I got that part. Ugh, no. It's pretty good. Like, it legit tastes uh, What's your favorite part about this time of year slash holiday? Mm. seeing me. Yeah, seeing you. It's yeah, my sisters grew up and moved away. Yeah. I'm the only one at home. Atlanta. The other one's in Atlanta, Connecticut. My brother stayed, but I never seen him. We stayed at least closer than Alice. Yeah. Alice, if yes. you're watching, that was, you're really far. I mean, <laughs> she moved to Arizona first. She's in Connecticut now where it snows. Yeah. Well, the only time I she said so. she did tell me, and I thought this was kind of an interesting point, just given how different Arizona is from Georgia and Carolina. She said, you know, she was like, well, Connecticut at least looks like home. It at least looks similar yeah. in terms of the green. Small town. Yeah, like it kind of has those same feels. I was like, oh, that's kind of different. Yeah, and then she's like, yeah, and it's kind of got the seasons like 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 home. I was like, no, it don't. It doesn't start out in the winter. And then when you, by the time you get to lunch, it's spring. By afternoon, it's summer. <laughs> and it's fall. And by the time we go to bed, we're in boots again. Hello. <laughs> so I'll true. Christmas all year. That's I, true. I think here it never got back to summer. It only stayed in fall. This is the first year in a long time, though, that it ha it didn't like skyrocket back up into like hot, hot weather. Whatever. Today was our Thanksgiving, and guess what? We wore shorts. Well, we, it, was, it was well up here. So, so you guys are two and a half ish hours east right so in atlanta today it didn't get above 70. can you hear dad playing with oliver no every now and then yeah okay <laughs> it's okay uh, oh. my thing is the decorations i don't care less about the presents it's just fun to have the decorations i just sit my christmas yeah. tree is up it's been a Dang. since my husband tends to get sick so we weren't sure we went ahead and put it up and um tristan decorated most of it but the spot that's right next to my chair i took mm -hmm. all the bunch of ornaments out of my katana cabinet and put them right there so, so they're right where you can see them so at all I times in my head the christmas tree is the way i want it to look nice. <laughs> and the rest of my tree is how my son wants it to look nice that's, yeah we actually got our first christmas tree today she Which is exciting i pulled i pulled the you know dad ollie really needs a christmas tree this year so we went to home depot and got one it's a nine foot pre lit oh, tree. Jesus. Well, our ceiling, I mean, this is, this ceiling is so tall. Yes. And I just felt like and her husband is so tall that all he has to do is stand on her back and put the star on the top. I mean, we're, we're good. <laughs> yeah, it's like, so it's like if we got anything smaller than that, I felt like it would look stupid. Yeah, I was thinking about that. So we have a seven foot one that we got from Home Depot Black Friday last year. Yeah. And like, we have an apartment with normal nine foot ceilings, and like the star is like, so Close. back in 1997, when they really just first came out, I guess, mm -hmm. married, that's when I bought my tree. I had the exact same pre-lit tree that I got the year I got married. You still have a pre-lit tree from 1997? Mm -hmm. Have you had to change the lights? Yeah. Shut up. What? Not individual ones. Mm -hmm. That's insane. Y'all must be real careful with it. No, it just folds up and goes in the box. Yeah, I told, I told Rick, if we're careful, we make sure we put it up and stuff. Like, I think the one we got You do know now that I've said this, and we'll go home and have and everything's going to be out. Absolutely. We have one. We could we didn't have time by the time, because we got married at Christmas. By the time you get back from your honeymoon, it's the week before Christmas. And I'm, I'd be damned if I wasn't going to have a Christmas tree. Yeah. Sure. I'm excited about the one that we got. I was kind of frustrated at first because we only saw one that had like multicolored lights. <laughs> And I want, if it's going to have multicolored lights, I need it to have the option to just be white lights. I just don't, I'm not super in multicolored lights. And right. then we found the last nine foot white uh, light tree, but you can change it to multicolored. Is, it's like, oh, is it like ours where it has the remote and you can yeah, change you can, it? Yep. If yeah. I wanted a street light in my house, I'd go get me a street light and put it in my house. Mine's got to be multicolored. Yeah, I mean, I think the multicolor is fun sometimes, but I don't, I'm not going to, the blue, blue Christmas lights give me a headache. Yeah. And yours is LED. I don't think I have blue on my tree. It's yellow, green, red. Angel, mm -hmm. yours is the LED lights, right? Oh, no. See, mine are old. Mine still have mine? Yeah, yeah. yeah your, your new one is LED oh, lights. Right? I mean, shoot. I don't know. Sorry. <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea. Okay. Like, ours is really cool. Shell counter in some of our other videos. I think that would be super funny. Oh, my goodness. Um. <laughs> 
All right, Michelle, Melinda, she needs to pay you a nickel every time she cuts. Maybe she no. can. <laughs> look, my mom, ha look, she's got some banks that you can to come back. <laughs> she has some little piggy banks that you can fill because Ari is going to be five one day. You're the worst. <laughs> um, so, Melinda, what's your favorite part of this time of year? Um, when I was little, it was going to grandma's house down in Florida. Yeah. Because um, that was just one of the times that we got to go. Uh, but not all the time. Um, I don't, I don't know, like, what my favorite part is, because I guess seeing, when we get further down to Christmas, then I like seeing the family, because we, you we're know, all we're all, well, yeah. most of us still live in Georgia, but, you know, my parents are in Augusta, and then Fred and Sarah go between Gainesville and Augusta, Melissa's mm -hmm. up here and coming, and then we're here, but then John was in Washington for like two years, Washington State, and then yeah. Mandy and the kids are down in Florida, and the kids uh, go to separate schools and live in different, mm -hmm. like all three of them live in different cities, and John is back and forth between the states right now, so we are probably not going to have family Christmas for the first time ever, actually. So maybe we'll do a Zoom call, I hope. Yeah. I mean, it's a bummer, but um, I don't know. I think that's, it's not, I, I'm definitely the time because we are so spread out and we don't get to see each other that often. Yeah. I also like to decorate. Yeah. And do crafts. <laughs> but. Speaking of, uh, everyone watching this has already seen our really funny turkey video. I watched it as soon as it went live and like the intro, did you know about that? So I walked in on him doing it. I'm trying to get the kids to just to, to cooperate with making little turkeys for a Thanksgiving craft video. Mm -hmm. And so Mike did the intro like law and order. <laughs> but, and I don't remember exactly what he says, but basically <gasps> some are the moms that try to, and it's like this whole thing, <clears throat> ching, ching. <laughs> I was dying laughing. I was laughing it's, so hard. Oh, that was definitely funny. good. It's, uh, I walked in on him doing that, uh, because <laughs> I heard him mumbling. I was laying in the bedroom on my phone with it charging, and I'm like, is he on the phone at, like, midnight? And I walked into the living room, and then he looked over at me, <laughs> and I was like, what are you doing? He's like, it's a surprise. I was like, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah. And he told me. I, said I, don't to me. I, I don't think I appreciated this time of year as much until I moved away. And it's for the same reasons. I mean, we always got together. We've always done stuff for the holidays. Mm -hmm. Dean and I always go black. Well, always, even when I was like super little, we did the Black Friday shopping. We'd go home, we'd take a nap. Yep. We'd get up, we'd be at those stores at like midnight or whatever, and we'd stand out. We used to do, and we've done that. Yep. I mean, like, even last year, we went out and did some stuff. And sometimes we don't even buy anything. Yeah, we, we just, just go, go. <laughs> to people watch. Yeah, did some, yeah chocolate or something and just go but like I think that a lot of the appreciation for it came after I moved away because like I mean, even though we still got to do those things because I'm usually here for like a, you know a few days or whatever mm -hmm. um it just started to mean a lot more than just being something I just expected to do all the time like yeah you know the time the time with family and especially now that we have Oliver and stuff it's like you just I think you just appreciate it on a whole nother level I'm not like a decorating person right. um this will be the first year I've ever put up my own tree the very first year and I'm 32 um, because I've just, the Christmas is not really my jam and I'm more of a Halloween kind of jam. Um, yeah. you can decorate your Christmas tree at Halloween and then just change it out. <laughs> yeah. And then just change it one more time. You know, one year, Christmas. <laughs> one year we put our tree up at Thanksgiving and it was when I was young. So I think it was shortly after John moved to Florida, but he was so busy with work. He, he and Mandy couldn't come back home. It's before the kids were born. Um, so it's been at least 21 years. Um, but we had the Christmas tree up until like March because John couldn't come home until February to Ooh, celebrate Christmas. Up, so, yeah. Yep. Yeah, Mom. Any of the decorating stuff. Um, but I think, you know, obviously like with Oliver getting older, like some has to change. Yeah. I would, I, my or ornaments range from my Winnie the Pooh, which are my favorite, to Tristan and the Penguins, to Georgia Bulldogs, to oh, Carly oh. <laughs> Harley Davidson to <laughs> milk bone made reindeers and clothespins and yeah. hand prints and yeah, yeah. <laughs> all those good things. Yeah. Well, see, they, and Dina got all of her two um, uh, Christmas ornaments 
um, I, she gave them to me as at the baby shower, I think. Yeah. And so like we have ornaments and then like Melinda, you got us ornaments last year for Oliver and like they've gotten us some. So like we have stuff to put. Oh, up. I think it'll, I got you a house one too. Yeah. So it'll mm -hmm. be really cute to be, and Dina's giving me one for Josh too, like a little, uh, <laughs> I forget what it says, but like, it's a dog, it's a dog mm -hmm. house and you put yeah. a picture of your dog in it. But like, no. so we have ones like that and a Jack and Sally one and stuff well, like see, that. You have to include Josh because he's like my first nephew, you know, mm -hmm. Ollie's second child. Josh is first. That's true. Josh is my baby. Mm -hmm. I just don't ever get to see him. I don't have visitation rights. <laughs> <laughs> That's because uh, our parents are like anti dogs inside. Well, he's a big Josh boy. Had to be outside. He wouldn't know what to do. Favorite thing in the world. Uh, pour down rainstorm. Mama's like, you can come over. You can bring the dogs, but they got to stay in the garage. My baby sleep in the house in the bed with my <laughs> dogs. Mm -hmm. Do you know what happened to your garage? <laughs> I'm worried about your garage. I'm worried about your door. <laughs> I mean, they're going to want to come in. Mystery hand. <laughs> hello. Say hello to your office. By the way, we didn't we didn't tell you about that. Um, this is Rick's side of our studio. That's why I look like that. <laughs> our, our nice clean side is on the other side of the... <laughs> Yeah, but you the camera. Get a little bit to your left, you'll see my computer and no one all cares. It's RGB taste, the, taste the thing and tell me what you think. It's turned off. Nobody cares. <laughs> That's rude. All the cinnamon went to the bottom. Yeah. Just oh. taste it. I know. I keep swirling mine and then I added a little more on top. It was cinnamon. Oh, no, no. no. <laughs> what was the challenge? Was that eat the cinnamon or you like. Uh, no. The cinnamon makes a difference, though. Pretty good. It's a lot lighter than it smells, yeah. right? Yeah. Like, you smell it, and you're like, oh, God. <laughs> it smells like death. But... <laughs> yeah. Did he just say that smells like death? He did. Yes. Alcohol, it... Like alcohol death. Alcohol like, death. Like, That's like different than regular death. If you smell it, and you're like, oh, I'm going to die. Right no, now. it's not that. If he, so he's, what he's trying to explain to you is that what he's going to smell like when he dies. Oh. This. It's going to come out as pores. Gross. Are you drink a bunch of it? Do you like it? Yeah, it's just uh you can definitely gin. That. That's Slow all gin. It's the that it's that good. gin stuff, this, a little bit of lime and a little bit of cinnamon and salt. You make a lot of rich gin. No. Was we didn't do gin last time? Vodka? No, we did vodka and then we did Well Ooh, I don't drink it. Uh, no, I've never done tequila. That's drink with us after hours. Y'all just ignore him. Anyway. <laughs> You're done. One tequila, two tequila. Nope. I still hit the floor after half a tequila. I mean. But Dina doesn't realize it's hit her until she goes to stand up sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Happens to the best of Mike us. Mike still life. feels bad he, about. He made huh? me a drink and I had to climb up the stairs on my knees. And then my little sister had to take care of me. I thought it tasted like Kool-Aid. I drank <laughs> the whole thing. And let's just say they made it in a cup like this. Regular cup. Mike. We all had that thing. The only difference is I feel like <laughs> we I, did all have the same drink. <laughs> but see, I was I was pretty out there too, though. But I think oh. I went downstairs before, or no, I, well, I came back upstairs at some point. But I I think I just got never, hit first, and then like I don't know what the I don't know what happened. But, but we had also taken some shots too. I didn't take shots. I drank it straight from the bottle. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Melinda. Who needs fireballs, uh, fireball shots when you can just drink it? Yep. Anybody it's a waste of dishes. Skull of Schlager, you can't just drink it from a, a shot glass. That's like a waste of a glass. Don't want to wash it. I'm not going to feel like washing it later. Were you drinking Gold Schlager? Yes. yes. Oh, I think I was. we were drinking Fireball. I wasn't. I don't you like were. Fireball. Well, I, I think never, I had what she had. But it was our brother's rehearsal dinner for his... Wedding. Which I want everyone to know. I got up the next morning and, and did still did everything I and was I You had, did not look hungover or nothing. <laughs> I had to take Drew with me to work that morning, and I had to open the store at 6.30. So I got up the next yeah. morning. And you're taking up. care of me because Mama says you did it. <laughs> Even though it wasn't me. It, it was, was your friend. <laughs> never slept on the bathroom floor before until that night. Yeah, the first time I ever got drunk was my graduation party that my dad threw me when I was 18. I could 
drink like a fish back then, but that's before oh, man. Fat, it absorbs, you know, fat supposedly absorbs the alcohol. Mm-hmm. Well, parent, I, like I got some good alcohol. <laughs> well, but Mike is also like, I don't know. He doesn't have as high tolerance now, but he used to have a really high tolerance. Mine went away after I had Ollie. Like I had like, I had some angry orchard last night and like, I was very surprised how quickly it hit. Sometimes it's the sugar too though. No, I know. Well, that's probably why my sinus said it got so much worse than it was originally, but. It's amazing what you don't want after you have a kid. I don't want, uh, no matter how much people want to get a red lobster, I really don't want red lobster shrimp. No? And after I had Tristan. Interesting. No. Well, we definitely appreciate Thank you for letting me drink and drive. It was wonderful. <laughs> I have to drive home now. That'll be the other part that gets through the conversation. <laughs> and I'm driving from one state to the other. So it's I mean, not. I started the video it's not with that far. Ellie's apple juice stuff. That's true. What's so, yeah. <laughs> but so yeah, this was our video on uh, the drunk uncle and family uh, drinking and holiday themed moments. I don't know. Whatever. Melinda, Melinda occasions. comes up with the titles. Special occasions. <laughs> we talked about the wedding and we did and yeah. thanksgiving reminiscing while drinking best part about thanksgiving deviled eggs as long as they don't have relish in them oh no don't put mustard either don't ruin them oh well i mean you can't eat deviled eggs what i know sacrilege why she doesn't eat deviled eggs if once our brother the mayonnaise no once our brother gets here there's none left my mom can make two dozen and there's i mean that's me the other thing is, well, and I, so it's funny because actually, ironically, today, one of my friends sent me a picture that said, uh, sure, I like eggs as long as they're in a cake. That's me, to a T. As long as they're in a cake. <laughs> and I don't Probably have, red velvet. I prefer to eat the batter. Yes, I've mm. also done that recently. I like the batter. Put the batter with some vanilla ice cream. Oh, yeah. Then maybe y'all can add some alcohol to that, too. Yeah, we've talked about doing like a Bailey's Kahlua one or something. Now, I will tell you that is that coffee with a little bit of Bailey's in it. Yeah, I might still drink one of those every day. That's day. good, though. That's it good. is good. And then, for the, and then for your festive part, just stick a candy cane in it. <laughs> there you go. We actually, so, we might do pudding shots. Yeah, we're going to do Bailey's pudding shots for our December one. Wow, are we filming that here too? I might have to spend the night. <laughs> no, because no, it's not, not coming. We're not doing Christmas here until after the 25th. Yeah. So. yeah. Yeah, the thanks to COVID. We'll send some. It out. We're, yeah. trying, we're trying to spread it out. You know, I, and yeah. I will say that all, these, all the people watching this are probably enjoying the fact that y'all are teaching them new drinks considering we're all stuck at home. You, yeah. have, to, you have to make your own drinks and then you can tip yourself. Then you <laughs> take that tip and go shopping. <laughs> So I mean, there's a tip it for your tips. It all balances out. Yep. It, it yes. all balances out. I charged you dollars for that. I'm waiting for it. I don't take <laughs> <laughs> my credit card. <laughs> you don't have one of the, you don't have a slot for that. No, Anyways. Part and what is it? What is it? Will and Grace where he, he does that stupid thing where she's like approved. <laughs> <laughs> Mine don't work. No. Is it broke? <laughs> ATM broke. <laughs> ATM broke. <laughs> <laughs> oh you know there's a joke about that and strip clubs because they are popping right now in atlanta with covid maybe who knows my question is exactly where do they wear their mask <laughs> the places that need to be covered to keep from getting it and that's our ted talk on strip clubs during covid <laughs> <laughs> make sure you wear a mask <laughs> there's at least two places to put that mask and take sanitizer with you. Maybe the spray kind. And you might want to take the spray kind. Maybe just get one of those police shields. You know, the <laughs> big tall things. <laughs> Here, let me get the white. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Don't take change out of it either. Don't don't ask me. <laughs> <laughs> don't know where she's been. <laughs> Or that dollar. Oh my goodness. Exact I'm not allowed to edit this part out. It's important to the video. Exact change <laughs> only. <laughs> There's a shortage, you know. <laughs> yep. Oh my God. Oh man, I'm not even halfway through this drink. I gave Can you up. imagine if you asked for one and she handed you a penny? You're just like, where did that come from? She just lifts her No pockets. <laughs> I mean... Maybe she in her hair. I don't know. And this Thanksgiving, we are definitely very thankful for you all 
for our second Thanksgiving on Mama Slim Me. And with the, the Drunk Uncle this year, it is a really tasty drink. We're going to link the recipe down below. So try it if you're into that. You know, you could probably do it with vodka as well if you don't it like gin. Make it like, I actually think it'd be pretty good with this in it. It probably would. The Marnelli's actually has a little bit of carbonation. Just in enough. It. But the, yeah, I think it actually would be really good with that in it. So what's going to happen if we turn off, just going to pour that into this and have it. That probably would be really tasty as well. Yeah, absolutely. So the question is, is how cute is the drunk uncle? We never did discuss that. So y'all, y'all, when you, when you do your little background thing, make sure he's just gorgeous. He's gonna be a gorgeous drunk uncle? <laughs> yeah. Something to look at. Eye candy works for me. I'm old. Gotta have you. She would like to have Alseed or uh, Aquaman if those two are available. Or if anybody watches Archical, Turgot. No one watches that. I don't know what that is. <laughs> it was. It's on Netflix, Resurrection or Archical. It's in Turkish. Yeah. You can still read it. It helps. It helps. I'm learning words in Turkish. It's really kind of cool. But he's, oh man, it's just. You should hear them ooh and ah over the men that come on the thing. And it's, oh my God, the women are so cool. Oh, that's my man. Like every, like, it's so like. <laughs> <laughs> oh man maybe we can we'll find a picture of jason momoa for our thumbnail we can read it and then we're like <laughs> y'all gotta stop talking and the more they talk the more we can't read <laughs> oh my god <laughs> by the time we get done the volume's on 99 we're all talking and it's ching chain we're yelling because it's like my mom's man comes home my man comes home mr jean's like what he just say? i missed it can you rewind that shit rewind it. we're gonna get lost <laughs> oh my gosh that's hilarious. Mm -hmm. On that note, make sure you're subscribed to this channel. Like this video. Uh, give us a thumbs up. Uh, hit that bell icon. Follow us on social media at Mama Slim Me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And <laughs> we will see you all next time. Bye, moms. Yeah.